Listening Library presents Who Was Mark Twain by April Jones Prince Read for you by Kevin Pariseau Who Was Mark Twain? When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it had happened or not. Mark Twain If you can't quite place the name Mark Twain, Think of the adventures of Tom Sawyer and the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. They're Mark Twain's most famous books. Mark Twain was America's greatest storyteller. He was so good at making up stories that he even made up his name. He was born Samuel Langhorn Clemens. His best stories came from his own boyhood adventures in the Mississippi River town of Hannibal, Missouri. Mark Twain had an exciting life. He was a steamboat pilot, a gold miner, a newspaper reporter. He traveled all around the world giving lectures, which were really more like one-man shows, about his writing and experiences. Mark Twain became the most famous and successful author of his day. Many of his stories are funny, but often the humor touches serious issues including racism, greed, and injustice. America changed a great deal during Mark Twain's life. He challenged Americans to look at who they were and where they were going. Chapter 1 In With the Comet There comes a time in every rightly constructed boy's life when he has a raging desire to go somewhere and dig for treasure. Mark Twain Samuel Langhorn Clemens, the man who became famous as Mark Twain, was born in a two-room house in Florida, Missouri. The date was November 30, 1835. Halley's Comet, which appears only once every 76 years, streaked across the sky that night. Was the brilliant light a sign? Sam's mother, Jane, hoped so. Her little Sammy had arrived two months early. He was so small and frail that she feared he wouldn't live. In those days, many children, including three of Sam's six brothers and sisters, did not live past childhood. But Sam Clemens survived, and he gave his mother a good deal of trouble in the process. In 1839, Sam's family moved to the larger town of Hannibal, Missouri. Sam's father, John Clemens, was a lawyer and shopkeeper. John hoped to leave hard times behind. While John struggled to support the family in Hannibal, Sam struggled to pay attention in school. He attended Mrs. Hoare's Log Schoolhouse, on Main Street. Sam was a terrific speller and loved to read, but he was restless and excitable. He often broke the rules or played hooky. Hannibal was a river town between two bluffs that overlooked the mighty Mississippi River. Sam called it a boy's paradise. He and his friends would sneak away to an island in the river to fish, swim, and smoke corncob pipes. Other days, they played in the woods. They pretended to be pirates, Indians, and Robin Hood and his merry men. There were also caves downriver where the boys went looking for treasure. It was exciting and scary to explore dark, underground passages. Sam once got lost in the caves, and he almost drowned in the river nine times. You gave me more uneasiness than any child I had, his mother told him. Sam later said he thought she enjoyed it. The Mississippi River brought the world to Sam Clemens's doorstep. In the days before cars or cross-country railroads, the river was one of the country's major highways. More than anything, Sam and his friends wanted to be steamboat men. The great white ships were almost as majestic as the river itself. When Sam heard the call... 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?